In the 15th century, Renaissance was a cultural movement that started in Italy and spread across Europe. The church was a major influence upon European art. It was the time when the artists began to enhance the realism of their art. During those times, a painting in a German museum changed Zinzendorf's life and Zinzendorf changed the world around him. Nicholas Ludwig Zinzendorf was born on 26 May 1700 in Dresden, Germany. He belonged to one of the noble families in Europe. They were feudal lords over many places in Lower Austria. During his grand tour, Nicholas visited an art museum in Dusseldorf. He strolled around looking at various masterpieces. He felt attracted to a painting by the Italian artist Domenico Fetti. The title in Latin said Ecce Homo, meaning Behold the Man. He stood transfixed to the painting in which Jesus was whipped and crowned with thorns presented to the people by Pilate. Pilate says in John 19.5, Behold the Man. And written below were the words, All this I did for you, what have you done for me? Young Nicholas was profoundly moved and had a mystical experience while looking at the painting, feeling as if Christ himself was speaking to him. Hours passed as he sat intently gazing upon the face of the suffering one and he finally prayed to draw him into the fellowship of his suffering. With the artist's question hooked in mind, he eventually opened his vast estate to the persecuted Moravian Christians at Heron Hut, which is also called as the Lord's Shelter. There was a spiritual renewal that led them to have a chain prayer around the clock for 100 years and laid the foundations of the Moravian Church. They found communities in which they lived together and shared everything among themselves as the early apostles did. Heron Hutters rode to and fro on the continent to Moravia, the Baltic states, Holland, Denmark and even to Britain. A tide of missionaries continued to go out from this place. These bold Moravian believers planted seeds that continue to bear fruit even today, some losing their own lives in the process. As the leader of the Moravians, Zinzendorf was guided by an invisible hand. He left a legacy of piety that combined mind, heart and missionary activism. The artist's question haunted him all his life, which paved the way to what turned out to be the beginning of the modern missions moment. What would be your response to the same artist's question? All this I did for you. What have you done for me? If you were blessed by the story or if you would like to share an answer to the artist's question, please feel welcome to comment below. Do subscribe and share this video with your beloved ones.